Ariel Hawani post fight at Strike Force in San Diego alongside the current reigning and defending Strike Force welterweight champion Nick Diaz who defeated Paul Daly tonight in a very dominant performance and Nick congratulations on the win um, was that how you thought the fight would actually play out uh, yeah if it, if, if it were to go in my favor this like this is what I said before you know so yeah that's what I, you know, I wasn't talking no shit to start that's just what I said would happen um, if I win a fight that's what's gonna happen right that's what happened so, you know, it's a done deal. When you look back at your performance, were you happy with what you accomplished out there? No, you know, I, they're, they're going to suspend me, you know, for that. And, uh, you know, I'm like, I don't even, I don't get, you know, I don't even know why I do this. And I don't even, you know, I'm like, whatever, suspend me. You know what I mean? Like, for what? Uh, for whatever, I don't know, but I'm guarantee I'm suspended for whatever happened out there. And I'm like, you know, like. You fought, you fought and won. I didn't see it. I don't know. Okay, okay. That's what I'm hearing right now, so, but whatever, I need a vacation anyways. They fight me too much. You know, I'm not going to be the one to back out of these fights. You know, nobody gives a about me. They're over here throwing me in a fight after fight after fight. They're like, oh, this guy will knock him out. We'll get rid of him like that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're going to have to find some other way. You know what I mean? I actually heard last week you, you competed in a triathlon, correct? Are you going to look to maybe yeah, take my, some time? My friend Paul beat me. You know, I, I, I got a mountain biking and he started training up. And, uh, man, he, started, he became a really good mountain biker, you know, so I thought I'd be fine if I just, you know, uh, had a good swim and, and, you know, kept ahead of him on the bike course. And then he comes running up the hills and passed me. And, uh, you know, that was kind of hard to deal with. So I already kind of went through like a, like a loss in a way. Maybe you know? that motivated you for this. I think it just kind of, I don't know, it did, it did something. But, um, I'm gonna, you know, but that, that got me in shape, you know, and... Uh, I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling good for the for the whole season here, you know, and uh, like What's your next it's, triathlon. It's a good time. This fight and the last fight, you know, this is like my, this is for me. I mean, right now this year, I, I, it's just probably I, I haven't been at my best. This isn't fair. If you call that a fair fight, I know people think that's a fair fight. That wasn't a fair fight. I just fought. I just been, you know, I I kicked up in the leg. I go out there. What's the guy do? He tries to kick me right in my leg, you know, and uh, that's not a fair fight, man. You know, and my other fight before that wasn't a fair fight. None of these have been. You know what I mean? I got people out to get me. And uh, uh, you know, K I had a, I had a good training for a KG Noons fight, and that still was uh, you know that I didn't have a, a what but a month to train for that fight, and I wasn't sure if that fight was going to go through or not. Just like every fight, I'm fighting blind opponents. I don't know who who to, who it's going to be, who I'm fighting, or if I'm really fighting them. And then on top of that, in the last two weeks, there's like all this indecisiveness on whether or not they're going to pull out. And people are like, oh, we don't know if we should tell him or you know keep him training and all that. You know, and uh, I've never had a, you know, uh, a real training. Like everybody caters to somebody that's having some fight that's really big and important. I'm like, you know, what, what fight is more important than this? But nobody really gives a shit, you know what I mean? They're just like, oh, hey, you're fighting again in two weeks. So, you know, I'm like, lucky I already trained my ass myself, you know. And people, and it's not like I got, like, a, some bandwagon behind me kicking me, you know. I'm lucky I'm trying to help my partners out, and that's why I'm in shape, you know what I mean? So, um just a final question. You know, if I didn't have a good team to train with, then I, you know, I'd be in trouble. And if I didn't train the way I do, then I'd, I'd be in trouble. But um, it's going to take a little more to, to get rid of me. And final question. I was actually going to ask you about your team. Seeing Gilbert look so good out there, did that motivate you? And seeing how good the, the team did, you know, I, I'm sure you knew the result going into it. Did that? I'm, ha I'm happy for. It. I love I love those guys. You know, so yeah, I want to see them. Uh, you know, I want to see them do good. I mean, you know what I mean. But um, yeah, you know. I'm happy they won. I'm, I'm Gilbert won, and, you know. Thank you very much for the time, Nick. Congratulations on the big victory. Thank you.